Hey Stash fans, happy Wednesday. Welcome to the Mully Stash Show. Tonight I want to talk to you more about the motorcycle initiative. This will be a part two, if you will. Specifically, I want to talk about mopeds. Part two of the motorcycle initiative is something I've been toying with and it might not be liked by everybody. However, you can't win them all, I say, and not everybody's gonna be happy with everything. However, and what I just saw a couple of things reinforce this, but my thought is, if people lose their license for drunk driving or speeding or reckless endangerment or any other list of automobile license losing privileges, that they should be, you know, allowed to take a class and allowed to get a moped only license. Now, I don't condone reckless or illegal behavior any way, shape, or form at all. And I don't know how you could even lose a license nowadays, but as I was leaving work, walking up to my truck, I passed two cars. Not one, two cars. One was somebody having the music really loud, putting on their makeup, and then the second one drove past. The, the kid actually had his music blasting very loud, wasn't holding onto the wheel, and he's jamming with both hands and pointing at something, I'm not sure. Both of those seem pretty dangerous behaviors. Try doing that stuff on a motorcycle, see how far that gets you, or try putting your makeup on while you're on a motorcycle, see how far that gets you. Your next trip out, I implore you, look around, see how many people are texting as they're driving. Try that on a motorcycle. And that's, that's why I think that people who lose their license for doing dangerous or illegal or stupid things could be given a second chance. This should actually work for a few ways. I could think of three ways. One, because people are gonna drive regardless if they lose their license or not. We all know somebody who's done it. We've all known people that get pulled over and or arrested and or fined for not having a license. So people are gonna drive with or without a license. So you take their vehicle license away because they do something stupid or harmful to others. And we could give a moped, you say, well, they shouldn't be allowed to drive Right, maybe not a car. A car is a dangerous weapon. And a moped is not as dangerous to others around. If they try dancing or texting or any of that other stuff on a moped, chances are they're gonna hurt themselves way sooner than they hurt anybody else. And maybe the exception of hurting a pedestrian, I can't see a mopedist causing a lot of damage to others. However, a simple physics lesson force equals mass times acceleration so if you're in a 6,000 pound SUV traveling at 30 kilometers an hour that's a lot of force that you can cause damage you can cause damage to people in other cars to people in buildings to many many pedestrians so on a moped top speed unless you mod I'm not talking about ones that are like modded or extremely modded or even a little modded top speeds maybe what 35 miles an hour so yeah absolutely they could get hurt. They could hurt themselves. There's no doubt about that. But chances are, if it's somebody in that same SUV that they hit while on their moped, that person in the SUV will be fine. The person in the house, that moped's not going to go through the wall of the house. So majority of people, aside from the exceptions, should be a lot safer. Second reason is, like I said, people are going to keep driving. So instead of taking their license in a way and not encouraging but sort of knowing without doing that they're still going to drive anyway we we let them earn a moped license and then they can drive legally right and then thirdly the driving some people losing their license might use as an excuse to quit their job saying oh the buses don't ride that late or I can't find a ride to work or whatever excuse that they can come up with so they can get you know an unemployment check but if we allow them to keep going to work, the, the cost of a brand new, brand new 50cc Chinese moped out the door with tax title license everything is probably the same price as one or two unemployment checks. They're not really expensive. There's a dealer down the road that you can get one out the door for 500 bucks. You know, and, and I hear that if you change the oil and make sure all the bolts are tightened correctly and stuff when you get it, they should last okay. But that's my point. The point is, we should still allow them, and not to reward their behavior. No, they should be punished. They should still have to pay their debt to society. 
but they don't need to be unusually punished or they don't need to be you know allowed to drive without a license or break the law why don't we give them a moped license you know let them earn it let them drive legally and maybe it would teach them to be more respectful maybe it would teach them to not do stupid things like maybe they lost their license for texting and driving and there's so many billboards you see that say oh texting distracts you well so does that billboard it takes so long to change but the point is try that on a moped see where that gets you chances are they're going to hurt themselves much much sooner than they'll hurt anybody else and that might it might teach them after their first close call that wait a second maybe i wasn't doing something right because the way some of these people drive i think in their cars they feel indestructible because the new cars it's like an airbag you're driving in an airbag in a bubble and you can't be hurt i mean you can but that's that's the exception like i'm saying that the chances of you getting seriously injured in one of these modern cars that have all these anti-collision avoidance and, and you're surrounded, chances are your car is going to react and protect you. And that's what they meant to do. And that's very, very good. But maybe people know that subconsciously because the new cars have the, the alarms if you start to drift off the lane or the automatic braking. So they might actually think it's better to text in a new car, text and drive, than it is an old car because they think, oh, the car will do itself. So maybe putting them on a moped would teach some responsibility or teach them to be in tune to see how many people were doing that stupid behavior that they were doing and make them think wait a second I was wrong in my ways and maybe it would teach them some humility and that could be part of their community service or their debt to society that hey yeah you gotta drive a moped and everybody's got to know about it which don't get me wrong I would love to have a moped and I've had one before and it was awesome but I chose to get it. And then thirdly, it might get more people motorcycling because their friends at first would probably laugh, but then they'd take it for a spin. They'd be like, wait a second, this is actually practical. And maybe after their debt to society was up and they could keep their car license, maybe they could be like, yeah, yeah, I like this. This was actually good. It, it makes me a better driver. It makes me more responsible. So, and I know not everybody's going to agree with this, but if you actually think about it and you think, how much could be prevented? How much damage to others could be prevented? You know, if people were on vehicles that couldn't cause that much damage to others. And if if it's really just themselves they have to worry about on a moped that goes 30 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour, maybe they'd actually start putting themselves, their safety first and start realizing what they're doing and be more conscious around them as opposed to thinking, well, other people have brakes for a reason. They'll pay attention. I don't need to. So it gets them more aware, it gets more people riding, and all the other points in Motorcycle Initiative Part 1 are all the same. It's better for the environment, there's less congestion, there's less pollution, less dependence on foil and oil. So I'm really thinking I'm onto something here, and I know, again, people say, well, they lost their license for a reason, they don't deserve to drive. Well, they don't deserve to drive a car. Obviously, they've been proven they are irresponsible, and they should not be allowed behind the wheel of a big lethal weapon was what a vehicle is however like I say a little moped it will keep them working it will keep them going and it's not as lethal weapon to others as a big heavy fast vehicle is so anyway I want to know what you guys think so please comment you know please make a comment and um, we really need to get more motorcyclists out there we need to get more people that don't have experience educated we need to give people more opportunities because motorcycling is a dying lifestyle and we need to keep it going any way to get people to ride is a good way i truly believe and again i'm not condoning or excusing any bad behavior or illegal behavior but i believe there are times people do dumb things maybe it was a one-time bad decision they made maybe they really honestly would learn from their mistakes but why should their whole life be affected give them a chance give them a chance to prove they could be a productive member of society i don't know let me know what you guys think make sure you like make sure you subscribe you can find me on twitter at molly stash and remember thursdays are cooking with molly so turn in tomorrow for some cooking with molly i got a big surprise for that also it's a big surprise for myself because <laughs> i don't actually know what i am cooking yet uh, but it's going to be awesome so I, I don't condone reckless or illegal behavior especially behind the wheel and within reason i believe in second chances and i believe mopeds 
can be that chance. So let me know what you guys think. Tune in tomorrow for more Molly Stash.